Welcome to St. Henry District High School, home of the Crusaders. St. Henry has a long-standing tradition of providing a well-rounded education that nurtures the spiritual, intellectual, social, and emotional development of all of our students. St. Henry District High School, or SHDHS as it's also known, is the largest Catholic college prep co-ed high school in Northern Kentucky. We're also a nationally recognized Blue Ribbon School of Excellence. Each year, students from more than 20 different schools in the tri-state area choose to call SHDHS their home. St. Henry offers a warm family atmosphere where our faculty and staff are focused on meeting the needs of every student. Guided by the school's five pillars of success, faith, scholarship, arts, athletics, and leadership, our teachers help us grow academically, personally, and spiritually while preparing us for the life after graduation. St. Henry is a recognized leader, consistently scoring above national, state, and local norms on national assessments. On average, our senior classes earn more than $10 million in college scholarship offers and consistently score 30% above both national and state averages on the ACT. It's a great time to be part of our St. Henry Crusader community. If you'd like to learn more about our school, be sure to schedule a visit by contacting the enrollment office at 859-525-5844. At St. Henry, we understand the importance of what it means to be crew knighted in Christ. Our faith is at the center of everything we do. We begin and end every day in prayer, attend regular class liturgies and prayer services, and the Holy Family Chapel is open before, during, and after school hours throughout the week. Both inside and outside the classroom, students, faculty, and staff connect with local service, campus ministry and throughout the year we perform more than 10,000 hours of community service giving our time and talent to a wide variety of organizations including local parishes food pantries homeless shelters inner city schools and community nonprofits through service we grow to become caring leaders who value human life are dedicated to family and live a life in service of others Welcome to our Fine Arts Building. This $8 million expansion project is just one of the attributes that sets St. Henry apart from other high schools in our region. The centerpiece of this building is our beautiful 650-seat Dries Homes Auditorium. This space was designed to host a wide variety of events, including student productions, band and theater classes, school masses, and community gatherings. The Ed and Betty Dusing Black Box Theater is adjacent to our main theater. This versatile space is used for rehearsals, smaller performances, classroom instruction, and banquets. The scene workshop and studio is outfitted with tools and equipment we can use to build stage sets, design and create costumes, and more. The Wilson Family Art Gallery was specially designed to showcase student artwork. It's also perfect for hosting alumni, grade school, and professional art exhibits. As St. Henry students, we have the opportunity to take a wide variety of fine arts courses, such as visual arts, photography and film, digital art and design, drama, chorus, chamber choir, and band. These courses are all held in the fine arts wing of our campus. Here, we can explore, develop, and master skills in spaces especially designed for the arts. For example, our visual art classroom features an extra large northern facing window wall to bring in natural light. And our main theater is outfitted with state of the art sound and lighting systems. The science and technology spaces at St. Henry District High School are second to none. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math are vital components of our 21st century learning, which is why our campus offers multiple science classrooms, plus four dedicated science labs, including the biology lab, chemistry lab, physical science lab, and the Dr. George A. and Dolores E. Renneker STEM lab. 
These labs provide us with increased opportunities to work on project-based assignments. They also allow our teachers to do more hands-on classroom work with us, helping us better understand scientific methods and various theories. The STEM lab is also home to our championship robotics team, better known as Crewbotics. All of our science classes focus on lab work with data collection, processing, and analysis. Various levels of science courses are offered including college prep, honors, and advanced placement. We have the opportunity to take STEM, biology, chemistry, physics, anatomy, and physiology, zoology, and so many more. Welcome to the AIMS classroom. AIMS stands for Academic Achievement Through Intervention, Mentoring, and Support. The design of this room provides an open and active learning environment which supports a school student-centered approach to learning. Each student who is enrolled in AIMS is provided with appropriate, individualized academic support. The AIMS program teaches us how to assume responsibility for our own education, as well as how to advocate for ourselves in the classroom. Everyone deserves access to an education that builds a strong foundation for their future success. The key is a mission at St. Henry District High School, which is why a variety of services geared towards helping students succeed are available, including mental health awareness activities, National Honor Society peer tutoring, a teacher staffed after school homework center, on-site campus ministry, guidance counseling suite, and much, much more. Our expanded media center includes a redesigned computer lab, green screen room, and communal space that fosters student collaboration. Our championship esports team calls this place home. It's also where you'll find some of our fellow students building state-of-the-art computer equipment. Our media center is used regularly by our faculty and staff for professional development opportunities, parent orientations, and presentations. Its open concept gives us the freedom to explore multiple subjects independently, such as computer networking, computer software, gaming, video recording and editing, computer programming, and software development. With direct access to our IT labs, AIMS rooms, STEM lab, and global and digital classroom, we can easily collaborate on projects with students in other classes. Our technology department aligns its curriculum with the needs of local universities and businesses. This means that we are exposed to different information technology fields, such as computer science and user interface. In addition, students attend conferences, compete in local competitions, such as Tech Olympics, and participate in job shadow opportunities provided by local companies. St. Henry's athletic programs have a long and distinguished history, holding numerous titles including more than 65 state championships and 19 All-A state championships. We offer fall, winter, and spring sports. These include golf, soccer, cross country, volleyball, basketball, swimming and diving, cheerleading, bowling, archery, track and field, tennis, softball, baseball, lacrosse, and esports. Located right here on our main campus, we have access to Holbrook Gymnasium, Griffin Soccer Field and Track, Paul Kramer Baseball Field, Wink Kramer Softball Field, and Weight Room. St. Henry also operates the St. Henry Athletic Complex, better known as the Shack. Located just 2.5 miles from our campus, this facility provides our teams with ample training, conditioning, and practice space. In addition, St. Henry offers a number of clubs and extracurricular activities. These activities give us an opportunity to form new friendships with fellow Crusaders while having a positive and lasting impact on our school and community.
Good evening, Crusader Nation. Welcome to Thursday Night Basketball in the final regular season game of this Boys St. Henry team. They're facing off with the Holy Cross Indians. I'm joined by Nathan Francis. My name's Quinn Bolton. Nathan, how are we doing tonight? Doing great on this Thursday, last regular season game and last home game for these Crusaders. But they'll play districts here, but we can't overlook this game. This is a huge matchup versus the Holy Cross Indians. And Holy Cross, you mentioned, ranked uh, in the top 25 in the state. Mm -hmm. And Jacob Meyer, their star, their guy, just broke the ninth region scoring record yeah. on Saturday. So key to the game, Nathan, I think is pretty obvious. Yeah, you got to hold Jacob Meyer. Shut down Meyer. I mean, it's a one-man show out here. You've got to shut him down. Yeah, if you hold him to under 30, his average is about 37 right now. If you hold him to under 30, you are guaranteed have a shot in this game. Well, Last you know, yeah. th throughout this season, we played guys like Meyer, mm -hmm. maybe not to the level, but Absaro, we've Absaro. seen him, um, people like that. And St. Henry's done a good job of shutting these mm -hmm. guys down and holding them to under their averages. Yeah. But Meyer is going to be their biggest test tonight to see if they can really do that against yeah. someone like him. Yeah, definitely. So Meyer in last year, basically the same team. We faced him twice in the All-A semifinals yeah. at Villa. He had 48 points that game. Could not miss. Yeah. I mean, unbelievable shooting, pulling up from the, the logo and just mm -hmm. drilling threes. It and was here's, ridiculous. Here's the thing. We only lost by six. Yeah. And February 18th, we lost by three, and he only had 36. Still huge numbers he put up. But if we can hold him to under 30, we have a really good shot yeah. in this game. Yeah, and like you mentioned, districts start next week, and I think this game is going to be a huge indicator of how well St. Henry plays in yep. districts and possibly region. If we win this game, I'm, ex I'm highly confident that we coast through the districts, get into region, and make a run. But if we struggle, that might be an indicator and could hurt our confidence going into districts about how good of a team we are. And we'll talk more about the district matchups later in the game. But another notable thing for St. Henry is Ethan Kaiser yeah. out with a leg injury. His tibula and fibula is bruised uh -huh. and with ankle strains. So a huge loss defensively for the Crusaders. And that was, the someone, guard, yeah, that was someone that they were really going to uh, rely heavily on to try and match up with Meyer. So if I had to guess, we're going to see Carson Shea back in the starting lineup. Yeah. And he's probably going to match up with Meyer. I, I mean, I'd imagine they might run a – a double team on Meyer just to try yeah. and shut him down. They got to see where he's at and then uh, what type of defense Coach House comes out with. And finally, before we go in to the anthem, we've got a packed house tonight, so we'll see how this loud crowd affects the game. Uh, coming up, national anthem and starting lineups, and we'll be back immediately after that.
back for the final regular season game of this St. Henry Boys Crusader team regular season game. Braden Fetters is going to tip it off. So like we said, Ethan Kaiser out with that injured leg. That means Carson Shea is into the lineup. And again, key to the game, shut Meyer down. Scramble for the ball off the tip. Ooh. Holy Cross is going to end up with it. Already driving in. They're going to call a foul. So a quick foul already nine seconds into the game. Foul's gonna go on Carson Shea, so he's already picked up his first. <laughs> like we mentioned before, packed house tonight. Mm -hmm. Not only St. Henry fans, but Holy Cross Bought a huge section of parents and students as well. Smith hits both on that. Holy Cross up on the press. Tough press. Looks like they're set up in a man-to-man. -man. Jack Grayson's got it. He's going to cross half court. A lot of reaching Ooh. in. Finds Matt Reesing wide open Great down by low. Carson. Mott there too aggressive on defense. Uh-oh. Quick three from Holy Cross. Man. Sinks it. You got to get back on those shooters. Can't leave Jacob Smith, especially Meyer and Ward open. Carson Shea's got the ball. 
Finds Rhett in the corner. Rhett with a hand in his face. Ooh, Sinks it. Rhett Ravenscraft answers. And already in the first minute of this game, we've got a shootout going on. Rhett Ravenscraft fully back from his uh, injury in the middle of the season. He's done a lot of things for this crew in these past couple of five Jacob or six Meyer games. Jacob Meyer driving down. Oh, Matt and a the charge. charge. Great defensive play from Matt Reese. Draws a charge. Meyer's got his first. Crew set up in that 1 2 2 zone. Works perfectly. Huge momentum builder for the crew. Oh, yeah, that's big. If they can do that to Meyer, that'll shut down his driving game. Coach mentioned yesterday in practice about taking charges on Meyer. It definitely works, and Matt just showed us that. Getting it down to Brayton. He's outsized. Ooh, Tips to away. Get it out. Carson's got it. Oh, blocked off the backboard. Man, Gibson looks like he could be close to seven foot. He really showed it there. Swings it, a deep three. And that one's good. Holy Cross proving early that they don't miss from out there. Got to get a hand out in his face. Good ball handling from Rhett. Dishes it off to Carson. Holy Cross play his zone, all of JV. It looks like fires from three. Brayden Fetters, no good. Here comes Meyer. Matched up with Matt Reesing. Continues to drive in. Wow. Wow. Finishes through three guys. His first bucket of the game. And it's already 10-5, so a high-scoring game to start off. Man, Meyer really showed why he's one of the best ninth region prospects of all time there. Brayden Fetters draws the foul. Bit of a late whistle. But nevertheless, he'll go to the line to shoot two. Braden, we saw him outsized last week against Great Crossing yeah. here. He uh, had trouble there. Hopefully he learns from that game and uh, against Gibson, uh, outsized again, he can get around him more. When he has experience with Gibson, mm -hmm. like I've mentioned before, I played on his team in middle school, and uh, we used to play Gibson in middle school, so Braden and Gibson have been uh, matching up together for about seven years now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Just misses the second free throw. 10-6, here comes Meyer. Finds Smith the open the shooter. Oh, Braden. Foul, Just shooting foul call on Braden. Didn't look like a good angle from here. It looked yeah. like a bit of a push there. That's gonna be three free throws. He's hit two already in this game. As we've mentioned before, Districts is upcoming and we'll be broadcasting it right here. But uh, a huge, huge District news. Dixie, <laughs> the Colonels knocked off Cooper yeah. this week. So uh, they still pose a threat and we'll have to face them in the first round. Yeah, uh, and we, we really didn't play all that well mm. against them in the regular season. Barely squeaked out a win, but not a great performance. So we're gonna have to step it up in that game if we expect to win and move on to the championship. Like you mentioned before, Quint, this is a huge momentum builder to going into that yeah. district matchup. And could really uh, really make St. Henry a threat all around the Good region. Good entry pass. How about Brayden down low? Great wow. find from Jack Grayson. Those two have been doing it together a long time as they enter into their final games together. The crew line up in the zone. I'm wary of that just because of the shooters Holy Cross has. Yeah, and, and so far Holy Cross is tearing it apart. So they're doing their job oh. of shutting down Meyer, and as I say that, here he comes down the lane, finishes through contact. Jack Grayson tried to get the charge there, couldn't get it. Well, shutting down Meyer in the half court, but giving up a lot of three-pointers. And so far, it's made the deficit already eight points. Jack looking for an opening down Ooh. low. Finishes. Great move from him. Using two pump fakes. They can't celebrate too long. Here's a quick three. Ooh, just rattles out. Jack's got it. Here comes Rhett. Whole crowd yelling behind for Rhett. Holy tries cross, to pass, not, tries to pass to Carson as that goes out of bounds. Not letting them get any easy passes here. Jacob Smith all up in Rhett's grill. 10-16 is our score. Carson picking him up at half court. Now the Crusaders are set up in man-to-man. -man. Matt Reesing on Meyer. Here he comes. Kicks out, another deep three. That one's good. Wow. Holy Cross firing on all cylinders from the three-point line tonight. 
Here's Matt driving in. Should have been a foul. I think every St. Henry fan called for it there. Great job by Matt finishing through that contact, not letting it affect him though. There's Meyer. Meyer finishes through the contact. St. Henry can't get anything going. It's 21 12. Cannot let Meyer get those easy drives in there. Got to step over a help defense. Oh. Uh oh, Ooh. there's a steal. There's Meyer. Finishes. He's Man. quickly closing in on double digits in the first quarter. Rhett trapped. Uh, on the ground. Timeout called from Fousen. Coach Fousen, he is livid. 23 to 12 is our score. We're gonna take a timeout and we'll be back after the break. We are back from that quick 30 second timeout. Good call from Coach Faust to get right off the ground and keep possession before the Crusaders turn the ball over again. Well, so far in this game, it's been all Holy Cross. Uh, St. Henry has had press struggles and really not rotating to shut down the th three. And uh, we gotta hope Holy Cross stops hitting them or we can get out and contest a few of Here them. Here comes Meyer. He's looking to drive. Kicks out to the corner. Extra pass, wide open shot, no good. Oh, Rebounds over Carson Shea, just a complete mix match down there. Holy Cross is gonna reset, three minutes to go in the first quarter, 23 to 12. Crusaders not even playing poorly on offense, it's just can't stop this Holy Cross offense on def while they're on defense. Finally catches a break with a missed three. A lot of action so far, quick paced game. Holy Cross not as uh, not as much pressure as we saw in the uh, earlier parts of the first quarter, but still in full court man. Good pass by Jack Grayson. Oh. Stolen away from Braden Fetters. Matt Reesing backing up in transition, goes up against Meyer and Meyer finishes through it. Man, Jacob Smith has had really a lot of those pickpockets. Yeah. You just got to look for him. Uh-oh. Bad pass Ball by Carson Shea. Oh, Matt Reeson's going to scramble for it. Ball will stay with the Crusaders. Great effort from Matt to keep it with the crew. It's 25 to 12. And Sam Gibson will go out, so a little bit of a height advantage now for Braden. He's getting face guarded down low. They're going to look for him. Brayden backing him down. Oh. Through contact, draws the foul. Good so, work. Oh, good work by the guards to get it into Brayden there. And uh, hopefully Brayden can knock these two down. Man, and these Holy Cross defenders just playing very tight defense. Difficult to get passes and dribbles through. Yeah, they've really shown why they're 21 and six on the season. It's just hard to beat all these uh, these shooting guards. Yeah. Brayton sinks the second free throw, so he's two for four from that line. Drew Flanagan's gonna check in, the first Crusader sub. Gonna give Jack Grayson a rest on the bench. Drew Flanagan, we've seen a lot of him. Didn't play JV, so he should be more fresh tonight. Looks like Cruz set up in a 2-3 zone now. Fires from three. Rhett got a handout. Oh. Offensive rebound. Can't let those happen. Oh. Good Such double team. Finds the shooter down low and finishes. Good pass and an even better finish. 27-13. Especially in tight three-point shooting games like this cannot let offensive rebounds. Drew Flanagan like in the that. corner. He sinks Ooh. it. Immediately making an impact. Hits his first shot of the game for a three-pointer. That's Drew's money spot right there. Has that many of those. Ooh, Carson going for the steal instead draws a foul and that's gonna be his second. 
Coach Faust going to decide to leave him in there with two fouls, so playing a little risky, but it seems like you have to right now. Mm -hmm. Great find. Rhett jumps over him. Oh. <coughs> Foul called on the floor. And Jerusa will chuck it. Check in. Excuse me. And that'll bring him out. Yep. Don't often see Andrew Reese checked into the game this early, but with Ethan out and Carson in foul trouble, he's going to get some significant minutes here in the first half. Yeah, that next man up mentality. Hopefully. Oh, oh! I think that hit that little kid. Jeez. Chucks it out of bound and hits a fan. Eleven point game. Drew Flanagan bringing the ball up. Oh, man. Tipped away. He's got a wide open lane. Finishes. Here's a good chance we're going to see Holy Cross have a 30 point first quarter. Here comes Matt Reason in transition. Ah. And they're going to call, is that a walk? Mm -hmm. Walk on Braden Fetters. He was looking for the alley oop. Poor guard play by the Crusaders in this first half. Just yeah. Turned the ball over way too much in the backcourt. 29-16. Meyer will bring it up, matched up with Matt Reesing. Holy Cross swinging it around. A lot of pick and roll. Drew Flanagan almost tips it away. Good, good defense here from the crew. 30 right. seconds left, gets it down low. Fires from three. Oh. Wow. Drew Flanagan called caught from the push there. Banked in a three. We're going to see if it counts. So the basket counts, and they'll get the ball again. That is a tough break for the crew. Jeez. Cam Lemon and Jack Grayson checked back in. Rhett Ravenscraft went out of the gym. Hopefully he'll be back. So 31-16, the Crusaders already with five team fouls. And a 30 point, as you mentioned, first quarter. Jack Grayson tips it away. Mm. Can't get a hold of it. And this Man. Crusader team almost kind of playing it uh, desperate right now. Yeah. Just trying to get anything going here. Holy Cross not afraid to make an offensive game. They'll run and gun with you as much as you want, as much as you're able to do. Uh-oh, Meyer driving in. Hits wow. the mid-range shot over Jake or over Andrew Reese. Uh-oh. Oh, Jack geez, loses Jack. a handle on it. And Matt almost blocks it. Transition buck is good, and that'll bring this first quarter to a close. It was a rough one, 36-16, and we're only in the first quarter. We'll be back after the break. All right, we are back. So after a rough first quarter, the score is 36-16, Holy Cross. On the court for the crew, Andrew Reese, Matt Reese, and Drew Flanagan, Cam Lemons, and Jack Grayson. So Nathan, what's the key to getting back into this game for the crew? Well, they really got to slow down. They're playing at Holy Cross's pace right now, and it's definitely not working. As you see, Holy Cross up by 20. Good basket there by Jack Grayson. They really got to slow down and limit turnovers by the guards. The backcourt's been killing us yeah. with uh, multiple turnovers by Shea, Carson, or er, Carson Shea, Shea, Grayson, and Flanagan. 
and then we really got to get out on shooters and uh, hope they don't make as many as they have in the first quarter. They're on track for a 120-point game. We yeah. just can't let that happen. Crew swinging around, finds Matt Reesing down low. Can't finish Jeez. through the contact and has to take a bad shot. Corner three. That one's good. Already off to a rough start here in the second. 41-18. Drew Flanagan taking the ball up. Andrew Reese fires for three. No good. He's usually money from right there. Jump ball is going to be called. Arrows pointing the opposite way of what we want. So Holy Cross will get the ball. Rhett's going to check back in. <laughs> And Holy Cross really silenced this big crowd from the crew mm -hmm. almost immediately. Swings it over. Fires from three. No good. Go Cam Lemon's got there. it. Here comes Matt. Brett's going to drive in. He can't finish. Andrew Reese with Ooh. the putt back. Got to get some momentum going here. Great awareness from Andrew Reese to go get the offensive rebound and tip it back in. Jacob Meyer, no good. That's the first time they've stopped him. Andrew dribbles through the defender, pull up mid-range, off the back iron. Usually Here comes Holy those. Cross, it's a three on two. Can't finish, Jack's got it. Oh, Matt's gonna draw the foul. That'll give the crew a much needed rest. 41 to 20 is our score. Rhett's got it. Three-pointer, no good. Here comes Meyer. Wow, wow! Where was the whistle? No call should there. Have been, should have been a charge. Here comes Rhett, driving in, hard contact. Now the whistle's blown, so he'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, and Jack Grayson's talking to the ref, wondering, probably asking where, what, 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 he what happened, more, yeah. what happened? Had his feet set, Meyer trampled into him. He took took the fall and no whistle was blown. Mm -hmm. Tough call for the refs, especially when a play like that is in transition. You're running along with the players. Mm -hmm. Gets it down to Cam Lemon. They're gonna call a walk. So every time the Crusaders get a little bit of momentum, just another turnover yeah. happens. And then Holy Cross brings it down the court and scores a bucket. Still a man for the crew. Gets it down low. Man. Finishes in the post. Cannot trail on those guards coming across the paint like that. Jack Grayson's going to fire from three. Air ball, and that three-point shot is just not there for the Crusaders tonight. Here comes Holy Cross running it down the court. And they're gonna call a foul. That one likely going on Jack Grayson, who tried to swat the ball. I mean, Holy Cross has quickly turned this into a track meet, getting the majority of their buckets in transition, wearing this Crusader team out. I was mistaken, that foul call was on Rhett Ravenscraft, so he'll pick up his second. That one's no good, Jack's got it. He'll dish it off to Rhett, and Rhett will bring it up the court. So five minutes left in the first half, 46 to 20 is our score. Carson Shea will check back into the game looking for some defense, as well as Brandon Fetters. Finding Jack. Jack can't hit the floater. Andrew Reese with his second offensive rebound of the game. Matt Reese in pull-up jumper from mid-range. There we go. That's the shot Matt likes to take, and he sinks it. 46-22. If the crew want to get back, back in this game, they're going to have to shoot well, especially from the perimeter. Jacob Meyer can't hit. Good contest. Jack's got it. He's going to try and slow it down. Dishes it off to Andrew Reese. Look at Clem in the corner. Rhett looking for Matt. 
Cam Lemon. Mid range is good. Two mid range shots back to back. Yeah. So the Crusaders have made back to back mid range jumpers. That might be their spot tonight. 46 24. Driving in. Wow. How about Holy Cross matching it with the pull jumper of their own? 48 24. Holy Cross has doubled St. Henry's score here in the first half. Uh-oh. Tipped pass. Jack still got it. Cameron Lemon from the corner. That one's no good. Ball gets away from him. Oh! <laughs> Cam tried half-hazardly saving it. Hits Jack Grayson's head. Timeout Holy Cross. 48-24 is our score. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after the break. All right, we are back. 3.45 left in the half. 48-24 is our score. Holy Cross ball. We're going to see a press from the Crusaders. Starting five on the court. Ball's loose. Gives it to Jack Grayson. Here he comes. Tipped from behind. And Holy Chucks Cross it up. will not let you get an easy basket. Wow, great defense from Shea to stop that easy bucket. Tips it out of bounds. 48-24, 3-3-3 on the clock. Tries to finish over Braden and cannot. Matt Reising will get the rebound and bring it up the court himself. Myers matched up on Reising. There it is. Mid range from Braden. And the Crusaders can't seem to miss from that spot. All over the place in the mid range, crew are hitting. Now Myers gonna try and match. Going to town on Matt Reising Man. and finishes. We need a stop on Meyer right now. Great defense from Matt, nothing you can do about that. Matt, Jack's gonna get double teams, breaks it. Holy Cross set up in a 2-3. Rhett swings it across the court. Finds Braden, Jack for three from the corner. That one's good. good hit. Jack Grayson having a good game on offense, he's got seven. Meyer, no good. Gets his own rebound. Hits the floor. Ball's loose. Here comes Reason in transition. Finds Rhett. Rhett, oh! Just rolls out. Braden with the offensive rebound and the putback. So 50 to 31. I'd Crew, like to, I'd Crew like trying to, to make a comeback. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, can't do that. Left him wide open and an easy tongue. Man, every time we get momentum, it seems like Holy Cross has a response. I'd like to see the crew make a run here, though, to end the half. Under two minutes. Jack kicks out to Matt. Matt wasn't even ready for it. Great spin mid from Matt, but he can't finish. Here comes Meyer. Nothing you can do. Another bucket from Meyer. Can't shut him down tonight. Timeout's gonna be called by Coach Faust. 54-31 with a minute and a half left on the clock. We'll be back.
54-31 is our score. Starting five still on the court for the crew. Plus Drew Flanagan. Oh, never mind. And for Matt Reason. Drew Flanagan in mm -hmm. for Matt. I didn't see that. Carson Shea will bring it up the court. Holy Cross no longer pressing. Holy Cross wow. is in at 2-3. Went for the trap right at half court. Oh, oh, and the pass hits the rim. Man, that just sums up what the crew are experiencing right now. Just turnover after turnover after yeah. turnover, and Holy Cross is just scoring at scoring bucket after bucket after bucket. Kicks out. That's a three-pointer. That one's no good. Brain's gonna corral the ball. And the Crusaders are doing a good job of breaking this 2-3. Just can't can't stop turning the ball over. Under a minute to go. Uh-oh. Ball's on the floor. Braden's got it. Tips it out to Red. Good hustle. Red trying to get it to Drew. Almost throws it out of bounds. Drew saves it. Now Jacob Meyer strips it from Jack Grayson. Jeez. Here it comes. Wow. Couple mid-air passes and the finish at the rim, 56-31. Like you said, Quinn, it's like running circles around it. Yeah. Just Jacob Meyer stripped it from Jack Grayson, and then the double pass to Ward back to Meyer. Just. It's rough to watch right now. Yeah, rough. 56-31. And timeout to sweep the floor. Used to be Adam Lubert's job. Yeah, he's been. Lubert uh, hot off a uh, big IBL win last weekend, upset over my team Green. That was that was tough. It was really Green's Green versus the refs in that one. You know. Oh, okay. Um, Alex Hammond really shouldn't ever uh, ref a game ever. <laughs> Again, in my opinion, but you know, you can wow. say that that I'm just saying that's, that because I harsh lost. Criticism. It is harsh criticism, yeah. but you know, when you're a ref in IBL, you need to be the best of the best. So, getting paid the big bucks. Yeah, ten dollars a game. Drew Flanagan for three, no good. Uh oh, Rhett strips it away. Good job from Rhett, bouncing it off of off his opponent's leg and out of bounds. The yeah, ball will definitely. stay with the Crusaders. Finds Shea, 17 seconds. Clock's running down. Yeah, walk's going to be called, and yet another turnover. So 12 and a half seconds on the clock. you got to imagine they're going to try and get it to Meyer. 56-31, a 25-point game. Holy Cross on track to score over 100 points in this one. That would probably be the first time. I've seen triple digits in a high school game before. Mm -hmm. In person, for yeah, sure. Yeah, in person, in person. Driving in. They're gonna call that, call a foul. Questionable call there to, yeah. basically in the half. Seven, 7.6 7 on the clock. The ref from the far end of the court called that one, so the fan, St. Henry fans not happy. Rhett Ravenscraft picks up his third foul of the game. So just a really tough first half here for the crew. <coughs> Sinks it. Andrew Reese checks in. That might be someone to watch for as the crew get it down in seven seconds and try and get a last second shot. Brain's got the rebound. Gets it to Carson, here he comes. Tipped away, but a foul's gonna be called. So now there's four seconds left. That gives enough time for about a catch, two dribbles, and a shot before the end of the half. We'll check in Sam Gibson for that uh, interior defense. Oh, he's oh, gonna no. guard. Yeah, he's, he's gonna guard, guard the inbounder. Inbound. Finds Braden. Braden with clock running down. Oh. Gives it to Meyer. Whoa! How about Drew Flanagan blocking Meyer? But uh, 
Ending it on a hopeful note. 57 to 31 is our score. Mm -hmm. Crusaders down by 26. I believe in them. They can make this comeback. We'll have to see after the end of the half. Welcome to St. Henry District High School, home of the Crusaders. St. Henry has a long-standing tradition of providing a well-rounded education that nurtures the spiritual, intellectual, social, and emotional development of all of our students. St. Henry District High School, or SHDHS as it's also known, is the largest Catholic college prep co-ed high school in Northern Kentucky. We're also a nationally recognized Blue Ribbon School of Excellence. Each year, students from more than 20 different schools in the tri-state area choose to call SHDHS their home. St. Henry offers a warm family atmosphere where our faculty and staff are focused on meeting the needs of every student. Guided by the school's five pillars of success, faith, scholarship, arts, athletics, and leadership, our teachers help us grow academically, personally, and spiritually by preparing us for the life after graduation. St. Henry is a recognized leader, consistently scoring above national, state, and local norms on national assessments. On average, our senior classes earn more than $10 million in college scholarship offers and consistently score 30% above both national and state averages on the ACT. It's a great time to be part of our St. Henry Crusader community. If you'd like to learn more about our school, be sure to schedule a visit by contacting the enrollment office at 859-525-525. At St. Henry, we understand the importance of what it means to be crew knighted in Christ. Our faith is at the center of everything we do. We begin and end every day in prayer, attend regular class liturgies and prayer services, and the Holy Family Chapel is open before, during, and after school hours throughout the week. Both inside and outside the classroom, students, faculty, and staff connect with local communities through service, campus ministry, and instruction. Throughout the year, we perform more than 10,000 hours of community service, giving our time and talent to a wide variety of organizations, including local parishes, food pantries, homeless shelters, inner city schools, and community nonprofits. Through service, we grow to become caring leaders who value human life, are dedicated to family, and live a life in service of others. Welcome to our Fine Arts Building. This $8 million expansion project is just one of the attributes that sets St. Henry apart from other high schools in our region. The centerpiece of this building is our beautiful 650-seat Dries Homes Auditorium. This space was designed to host a wide variety of events, including student productions, band and theater classes, school masses, and community gatherings. Here on the line. Jeff Pilcher at the free throw, at the half court line. Oh. Free pizza was on the line and he can't hit. So another person will go. <laughs> Jeff, what happened, dude? That was a terrible shot. It was on target, it's just too hard. That was not on target, that was like five feet over. Why'd you shoot it like a baseball shot? you guys wanna talk? Scores a little bit too high. Who is that? that yeah. Uh-oh. Ray, the baseball player from half court. Oh, my gosh. That was even worse. Wow. This is embarrassing. Obviously, the crew student section has never been in a... Uh-oh. And it's Luke Keeper, my team green teammate. IBL first round pick. This is green. Let's go, Keep. Watch, he's gonna hit this. You ready? Oh! Luke Keeper, free pizza for a year! I told you what I said! That was my first round pick, that's why. How about Keeper? Wow. <laughs> Lefty magic right there. Got a boy, Keep! And that was the most exciting moment of this game by far. 
Huge shot from Keeper. He knew it. Look at that. All right, we'll be back after the end of halftime. Yeah, Quinn, I, I guess I just underestimated my own strength. That was terrible. Welcome to our Fine Arts Building. This $8 million expansion project is just one of the attributes that sets St. Henry apart from other high schools in our region. The centerpiece of this building is our beautiful 650-seat Drees Homes Auditorium. This space was designed to host a wide variety of events, including student productions, band and theater classes, school masses, and community gatherings. The Ed and Betty Dusing Black Box Theater is adjacent to our main theater. This versatile space is used for rehearsals, smaller performances, classroom instruction, and banquets. The scene workshop and studio is outfitted with tools and equipment that we can use to build stage sets, design and create costumes, and more. The Wilson Family Art Gallery was specially designed to showcase student artwork. It's also perfect for hosting alumni, grade school, and professional art exhibits. As St. Henry students, we have the opportunity to take a wide variety of fine arts courses, such as visual arts, photography and film, digital art and design, drama, chorus, chamber choir, and band. These courses are all held in the fine arts wing of our campus. Here, we can explore, develop, and master skills in spaces especially designed for the arts. For example, our visual art classroom features an extra large northern facing window wall to bring in natural light. And our main theater is outfitted with state of the art sound and lighting systems. St. Henry's athletic programs have a long and distinguished history holding numerous titles, including more than 65 state championships and 19 All-A state championships. We offer fall, winter, and spring sports. These include golf, soccer, cross country, volleyball, basketball, swimming and diving, cheerleading, bowling, archery, track and field, tennis, softball, baseball, lacrosse, and esports. Located right here on our main campus, we have access to Holbrook Gymnasium, Griffin Soccer Field and Track, Paul Kramer Baseball Field, Wink Kramer Softball Field, and Weight Room. St. Henry also operates the St. Henry Athletic Complex, better known as the Shack. Located just 2.5 miles from our campus, this facility provides our teams with ample training, conditioning, and practice space. In addition, St. Henry offers a number of clubs and extracurricular activities, such as Student Council, National Honor Society, Student Ambassadors, Academic Team, Art Club, Broadcasting Club, Campus Ministry, Pet Band, school musicals and plays, acrobatics, science clubs, drug-free clubs, foreign language clubs, and so many more. 
These activities give us an opportunity to form new friendships with fellow Crusaders while having a positive and lasting impact on our school and community. We are back for some second half action. 57-31 is our score, so Crusaders are going to need a big comeback. You know, maybe rejuvenated by that huge loop keeper at halftime shot. Yeah, from half definitely. Court. I mean, maybe that's the spark <clears throat> this team needed. Maybe a little bit of inspiration. Yeah, for the crew to get back in this game, it's going to take a lot down, what, 26 20, points? 26. Braden for three. We're going to start it. after hitting every three we take and stop uh, stop committing any turnovers. There it and is. Stop Jacob Myers. Stop and Meyer. There's step one. Yeah. Step two is going to be making this shot here. Gets it down to Brayden. Tipped away. That's a quick uh, turnover. Cannot do that. Wide open to the lane. Oh, and he missed a wide open layup. No, why he didn't go with his right hand there. Trying to get a little bit too fancy. Oh, and Jack Grayson draws the in one. So punishing Holy Cross for not getting the easy bucket. Javier Ward looks a little hurt on yeah, that Yeah, maybe that's why. He possibly jumped up and yeah, jumped weird. So he'll take a seat on the bench, clutching his calf. Yeah. Here's Jack Grayson. Finishes the end one, so a three-point play. Great play by Jack. He's had a phenomenal game already in double digits today. I'd like to see a better second half going into districts as we as we've mentioned before. Oh, come on. <coughs> Jacob Meyer draws the foul, hits the ground hard, so he'll go to the free throw line. Man, Jacob Meyer, I've really seen it this game. I've seen it all the years I've played or all the years he's played, and I've watched him going back to the all-A uh, semifinals when we beat him at uh, in at Newcastle with Wyatt V. He's just a tremendous finisher. Yeah. He can shoot the deep, deep three ball. He can do it all, really, and I'll be excited to see where he goes. I'm excited to see this talent in the ninth region. Tough break for the crew. That was Rhett's fourth uh, foul, so he'll take wow. a seat on the bench. We really haven't seen Meyer uh, utilize that three-point shooting yeah. ability tonight, getting all of his buckets in the paint, I believe, or at least from mid-range. So hasn't haven't really seen him uh, pull out at the perimeter yet mm -hmm. to take a shot. There's a corner three. Man, but we've seen everyone else except Meyer hit those threes. Yeah. The supporting cast has really stepped up. Jacob Smith, Javier Ward, just to name a few. Jack Grayson trying to drive in. He's wow. going to turn the ball over. Wide open lane for Meyer. Finishes. Just getting pickpocketed way too much. Yeah. Breezy trying to go down low. Draws the foul. So he'll take a trip to the free throw line. Both of his parents in attendance. Like we've mentioned before, Matt Reese, one of the best athletes at this school. Not only excelling in basketball, but he also is arguably the best player on both the soccer and baseball team. Yeah. His baseball coach in attendance standing over there in the corner, Coach Greg Pass. Baseball season starting to get underway. Uh, two or three full practices in. Um, I'm a member of that team. We're expecting to get the JV basketball guys back pretty quickly. Even got to have a couple outdoor practices this week because of the oh. good weather. Terrible shot. We Jack Grayson's going to corral the rebound. We got to capitalize on Holy Cross having an off shooting performance right now. And that offensive Ooh. rebound drives in. Contact, no good. Ball's going to stay with the crew. 61-35 is our score. <laughs> so coming out with a little bit more energy than in the first half. Still going to need a lot to overcome, overcome this deficit. Oh, and Jack Grayson throws it out of bounds. Matt couldn't get to it. Good defense from Holy Cross forcing the third turnover. Under six minutes here in the third quarter. 
Matt Ooh. with the breakaway steal. Here he comes. Oh! What a move. Wow. wow. How about that move from Matt Reason in transition? Jacob Meyer for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Got to know where Sam Gibson is at all times. And those cutters. Wow. Great finish. Good cut. 63-37. So Holy Cross matches it. Got caught ball watching there. Carson finds Braden. Sounds like someone took a spill in the student section. Hopefully everyone's okay. Yeah, maybe you can't even tell what happened over there. Wow, Jack Grayson getting up there, blocking the big guy. Good box Meyer. out. Carson draws the reach in foul. Sixty-three thirty-seven is our score. You played hard. Other members of that aforementioned. Oh, Matt Reason pulled jumper. Drew Flanagan no tried to get his hand on it. Yeah. Get the rebound. Other members from this basketball team that are on that aforementioned St. Henry baseball team: Rhett Ravenscraft, is a middle infielder; Matt Reason, an outfielder; Drew Flanagan, an outfielder and a pitcher. Mm -hmm. John Luber, a pitcher in the middle infielder, and Braden Fetters making his return to baseball. We'll see where he plays, likely in the outfield or first base. Good bucket from Holy Cross, 65-37. They might try to run up the score and hit triple digits. Braden, spinning, gets his own rebound off the block, Ooh, good finishes finish at the rim. Sixty-five thirty-nine is our score. So like we mentioned, Crusaders really playing, shooting pretty well. Yeah. Either finishing mid-range or three-point line, just can't stop turning the ball over and really having no answer for this Holy Cross offense. Still a 26-point game. Yeah, so hanging with them here in the third quarter, something we like to see. Oh, yeah, that probably should have been a walk. No call. Brayden gets the bucket instead. He got lucky on that one. I like Brayden's play uh, going into this timeout, really getting around Sam Gibson, Gibson that seven-footer, yeah. even though he's outsized. Yeah. Timeout by Holy Cross, 65-41. We'll be back after the break. We are back, 65-41 is our score. That buzzer marks the end of Holy Cross's timeout. 3.40 on the clock. Crew, as we've mentioned, sticking with uh, Holy Cross Indians in the second half. <laughs> Definitely a better second half. Uh, worst shooting performance by Holy Cross and better defense by us. Good call there, good defense by Carson Shea. Yeah. So Holy Cross turnover, let's hope this turns into a Crusader bucket. 65-41 is our score. Brayden Fetters from three, oh. no good. He'll get his own rebound. Trying to find Drew. Matt driving in. Finishes the at the rim. So Matt Reason having a great game as well. Ooh. Carson Shea, breakaway steal. Now he's gonna, oh, tries to fire from three. Oh, Carson oh, Shea shows it away. Taking that in. Good defense. Matt Reason with the block, stopping Meyer from scoring yet again. 
65-43, so good transition defense from the crew. Matt Reason got right back on it. This Cam Lemon checks back into the game. He's getting a solid amount of minutes tonight. Still have not seen James Noble, John Luberter, Alex Hammond. Man, Jacob Meyer could not hit from three. Matt Reason driving in yet again, and another finish. Matt Reason starting to heat up. There's Meyer going up against Cam Lemon, and Cam using his length stops him. Now yeah. a foul's gonna be called. That one likely gonna be um, on Braden. That's on Carson Shea. On Shea Carson actually. Shea, his third. Said. And this front court can't stay out of foul trouble. Rest got four and Carson's got three. You know, someone who's been having a really uh, quiet performance tonight, who's been really good, is Andrew Reese. Several yeah. rebounds, great passing, good ball handling, and I believe a couple of buckets. So Andrew Reese, someone we don't get to typically see as much, mm -hmm. really putting on a show tonight despite this poor performance as a team. 65-45, so it's just a 20-point game. Good job from Drew. So Drew outscoring Holy Cross by six points in this quarter. So they've clearly proven that they can play with this team. That's Andrew Reese to Drew Flanagan, finding Braden down low. How about Braden again? Hey. He's got six in this quarter. Double digits for the game. So Braden Fetters, Matt Reesing, and Jack Grayson all having a great game tonight offensively. A little bit oh, of life here and go. a jump ball called. Wow, great defense by the crew. Yeah. Man, they've really, whatever it was in that halftime speech, I don't want to get it over too emphasized, yeah. but uh, seems to be working for the crew. Timeouts called by Holy Cross. We'll be back in just a few seconds. We're back, 65-47 with under two minutes to go. And Nathan, we almost forgot our, everyone's favorite third quarter uh, topic to discuss, food with Francis. Nathan, did you have the uh, school lunch today? I did for the special purpose of Whoa. rating the school lunch. And uh, today was steak hoagie. With, I, had the, uh, I had the chicken nuggets. Okay, so we got a dual kind of thing going on. So, uh, Whoa, really late call. Already passing it away when the foul was called, so that'll send Brain to the line to shoot too. So you had the steak hoagie, how was that? Yeah, it was really good. Uh, sneakily in the, my top 10 lunches. Wow, you know. wow. Yeah, so okay. I got a, I mean, it was a good hot yeah, lunch. I uh, had the chicken nuggets, and as everyone knows, who's a fan of this segment of our show, or our, our broadcast, huge crew sauce guy and they had the crew sauce today, so I was celebrating. So overall, great lunch, can't yeah, complain. I haven't tried the crew sauce, I'll have to oh, it, it's like that. It's like, a, it's sort of like cane sauce, but okay. a little bit spicier. Okay. It's pretty good. Brain will look to sink his second free throw after missing his first, and he will. I think really the key in this third quarter, uh, kind of not really come back yet, Oh, Jacob Meyer lost it, so another wow. Holy Cross turnover. One of the keys has been that great transition defense, not letting Jacob Meyer get set up, really, and uh, keeping them on hold and making them slow down their pace like we wanted to at, at the beginning of this game. Don't look now, but it's a 17-point game now. A lot better than 26. <laughs> Crew swinging it around, trying to get something going. 
Big bucket. Trying to get it to Matt down low. Ball is oh. pokes loose. Here's the breakaway. Wow. Good. Wow. Great block. Oh, and now the ball's going to stay with Holy Cross. Great transition defense from Matt Reesing to block that without fouling. Yeah, just got to keep that ball security that we saw earlier in this half. Jacob Meyer going to work. They're going to call a foul, so he'll go to the free throw line. Lefty sinks his first. Misses That's his second, second, though. Wow. Uncommon for Meyer. The former Western Kentucky University commit. Cam Lemon from the corner. Can't hit. Tips it to Meyer. Here he comes in transition. Again, going to work, and again, we'll draw the foul and take another trip to the free throw line. So Meyer retaking control of this game as the third quarter, third quarter draws to an end, 66-48. Sinks one of two. Here's the second. And with that, we are back to a 20 point game. So 68 48. Crew swinging it around. Finds Matt Reesing down low, and Matt's going to draw the foul. So now we're just trading fouls and free throws. Good ball movement by the crew there. Uh, breaking that 2 3 pretty easily, getting it down to low to Matt Reesing. A lot of quick passes as well. Matt sinks hit. Matt sinks both of his free throws. So now the Crusaders, halfway to 100. Parson Shea playing up. Tries Driving to ice in. the ball screen, doesn't get Ooh, could have been a whistle there. Here comes Matt. Dribbling. Oh, jeez. Oh, sends him to the floor. I don't know why Holy Cross is complaining. Practically shoved Matt Reason to the ground. Crusader fans are calling for a technical. Outrage all over the place. Now Holy Cross fans are getting into it. I can see my uh, rival broadcast over there for Holy Cross shake, shaking their hands. And another bench warning. I've seen that a couple times before. They really don't give out technicals anymore to coaches. No. Uh, we haven't seen. But uh, yeah, Holy Cross's coach was not happy about those two calls. <clears throat> and, you know, there could, probably should have been a whistle down on the uh, Holy Cross mm -hmm. side. But um, yeah, undoubtedly was... a foul on that reason. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone in the building knew that. 68 to 50. So after that play, Crew will inbound. Try to make things interesting here. Matt. Finishes no through call. the contact. Good no call. 68-52. Meyer, pull up jumper with a hand in his face. Oh, it's a shot. Yep. Three seconds on the clock. Crusaders are gonna have to get it down the court quick and put up a fast shot. I'm looking at Andrew Reese. He's their sharpshooter. Instead, they get it to Carson. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Pull up three. Oh, oh, off the front of the rim, it's no good. 
We'll head into the fourth quarter, 68-52. The Crusaders proved that they could play with Holy Cross. Now down by 16. We'll see if they can make that comeback after the break. All right, we are back. Rhett Ravenscraft checked in after sitting out almost the entirety of the third quarter due to having four fouls. So that'll be something to watch. Jack Grayson also back in. Uh oh, Cam passes it away. That's a turnover. Here comes Holy Cross. Ah, uh, Jacob Meyer right there to finish it. Not the guy you want to give a turnover to. Javier Ward can take it and he'll go fast <laughs> and hard at the rim. 18-point deficit. Cam Lemon shoots for three. Ah. He's been ice cold from there, usually great. Now Rhett's going to drive in, finds Cam. Where's the foul? Jeez. And now Matt Reese puts it back Good up. offensive rebounds, good putbacks. Way to stick with it for the crew. They're trying to make this comeback, down by 16. Carson Shea almost gets the steal. Defensive aggressiveness and hitting shots is going to be key as we head down the stretch. Crew outscored the Indians 21 to 12 in the third quarter. So if they do that again, we can make this a real interesting game. It's not Reason picks up a foul. <laughs> Just his first, which is surprising. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Trying to get it to Meyer, they don't. Uh oh, Great. Jack oh. throws it away. Poor pass. Out to the corner, driving back in. Spin move. That should have been a walk, and instead a foul is going to be called. Took about five steps to get there. Man, every possession is valuable. Just not, cannot turn over in transition. Jack Grayson now will pick up his first. Braden Fetters in, and we've we've got the starting five on the floor. Swinging it around. Holy Cross for three. Man, ice cold for Jacob Meyer. Oh, should have been a foul. Jeez. Hard contact. Yeah, it came at him hard. Surprised there was a no call there. Both teams one foul away from being in the bonus. It's 70 to fit 70 to 54. Jacob Meyer's been ice cold from the perimeter tonight. Rhett driving wow. in against the bigger opponent, and he finishes at the rim. Rhett Ravenscraft, 70 to 56. Definitely part of his strong suit, Rhett's, uh, <laughs> Rhett's finishing ability around the rim. We see it a lot, and especially when going against bigger guys like Sam Gibson. Wow, shocking that there no was call. no call on that one. This game is getting really physical. 70 to 56 is our score. That Holy Cross coach better watch out. He's yeah. already been given a warning. I don't particularly blame him for arguing that call. Yeah. Ooh, great defense. Hope you get a bucket out of this one. Finds Matt Reason down low. Yes! yes! Big bucket from Matt. 
Timeout, Holy Cross. Don't look now, it's a 12 point game with six minutes. This is far from over. We'll be back after the break. We are back. Crusaders have brought it all the way to 12 points. Nathan, we can't let Holy Cross hit a three. Can you tell us why? Yeah, this uh, this happens in a lot of games. Crucial momentum changers, especially threes. Uh, Newport on Tuesday night, the Crusaders faced off against them. Three-point game time and time again, and they would just get a careless, careless turnover, or Newport would hit a crucial three and it would send them into a seven point, 10 point game. And we, we really can't let that happen down 12 with six minutes to go. And at halftime, I think everybody was counting this Crusader team out and all of a sudden it's gone from a 26 point deficit to a 12 point deficit mm -hmm. in a matter of 10 minutes. So we'll see what they can do with the final six minutes of this game. There's vintage Shake and Meyer there. Braden. Finishes. So Brayden Fetters is able to match that bucket. We got to shut down Meyer here. Here they come. Jump ball. Jump ball call. Huge play. Wow. Ball will stay with Holy Cross. Good defense. Rhett managing Sam Gibson down low. And that's risky. Rhett's got four, so mm -hmm. he really can't pick up a fifth. Can't finish. Matt scramble, jump ball, jump ball, jump ball. Jack Grayson's hit hard in the face. Looks like the nose. That's always a tough entry. Great defense from the crew to cause two jump balls and now they have the ball. 72-60. They could make it a single digit game with a bucket. With the three pointer specifically. Finds Braden down low going to continue to swing it around. Braden driving in. Can't oh. hit. Ah. And now Jack Grayson's going to pick up the reach in. So that will send Holy Cross to the line for one and one. Jack back to back plays where he's gotten. Yeah, he was hit hard after he uh, fouled number two. 5'11 on the clock, 72-60. All of a sudden this is a game now that the Crusaders are playing like they are. Missed the free throw. And free throws are huge coming down the stretch. Ref's gonna call a timeout. He's talking to the Holy Cross ref, or Holy Cross. Coach. I think we've got blood on the floor. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe Around that's the what he's talking. Yeah, not quite sure. I don't know if the Holy Cross coach was arguing. Really wasn't much to argue about on that play. So I'm a little bit confused what's going on. There was a substitution kind of mandated by the refs there. But we will resume play, 72 to 60. Doesn't look like he's getting checked out or anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what happened. Okay. Play will continue. Well, huge possession for the crew right here. Matt Reason, big three-pointer. Yeah! Oh, Matt Reason, it's a nine-point game. How about that? This Carson J with the steal. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. And all of a sudden, the momentum has swung back for the crew. Carson Shea going to the free throw line, and that was a huge sequence. Wow. 
Man, the resilience of this crew team. This Holy Cross crowd is silent. Big free throws coming up from Carson Shea. And how about a clutch shot from Matt Reising in the corner, hand in his face. That was huge. Can't hit his first, and Carson has struggled at the free throw line this year. Yeah, just a mere 29% from the line. But he sinks his second. <laughs> That'll make it an eight point game. Wow, I mean, I can't believe it. This is a game, trapped in the corner. Here comes Meyer. Can't finish, oh. doesn't even hit the rim. Here come the crew. This crowd's getting loud. Finds Jack. Oh, Jack blocked off the backboard. Good offensive rebound there. Rhett driving in. Oh, oh, and he lost control of it. Tough break for the crew. Still over halfway left in the fourth quarter, so plenty of time for the crew. All of a sudden, Holy Cross kind of playing on their back heels. Oh, Ooh, yeah, we heard there. that slap yeah. from here. There's Jacob, yeah, and there. draws the end one. Just have to go straight up there against Jacob Meyer. Can't Has put your body to on. Put this back to an 11-point game. Big free throw from Jacob Meyer. And he sinks it. So it's an 11 point game, 75-64. Braden's proved he can do it. And he and goes one. in! Braden Fetters matches it! Big bucket from the big boy! He's going to the line. Wave him goodbye. That's a, he fouled out. Big play from Brayden Fetters. Holy Cross loses a huge that is vital play. Clutch. Sam Gibson out. That means not a single guy is going to be able to match up with Brayden's height down low. And that's going to hurt Holy Cross. 75 66. Big bucket from Brayden coming up. <laughs> Just under four minutes left on the clock. Big free throw. Sinks it. There we go. How about that? Braden Fetters matches Myers and one with one of his own. 75 67. Pull up jumper. That one's Ooh. in. Bounce off the rim twice before going in. 10 point game. Looking for Brain down low. Reaching foul. And now uh, send Brain to yeah, the line. Yeah, Brain's going one. to the line to shoot one and one. So big free throws coming up. Like I said, nobody's going to be able to match up with number 40 down there. Mm -hmm. So if I'm the Crusaders, I'm feeding our big boy. Yep. It's Braden's time to shine as he goes to the free throw line. All right, let's go, Braden. Knock these down. <coughs> Maybe it really was Luke Keeper's half court shot. Can't say it yet, down 10, but. Uh... Yeah, hey man, there, there was a spark that is lighted in this Crusader team in the second half. Brayden Fetters has been money from the line so far. Looking to make it an eight point game. Sinks both. Brayden Fetters has made all his free throws here in the fourth quarter. He's been good. Oh yeah, yeah. Matt can't do that. Reach in on. Meyer, that'll send Meyer to the line one and one. This Holy Cross crowd getting into it. And despite their noise, you can tell they're nervous. 
as we've said before, it was a 26-point game at half. The Crusaders have dominated here in the second half. The crew in these last three and a half minutes, they're going to have to get stopped without fouling, yeah. especially now that it's double bonus from here on out. Double bonus for both teams. Possession arrow is pointed for Holy Cross. So back to a 10-point game. Crusaders going back and forth. We need another run here in the next couple minutes. Three and a half on the clock. The game plan looks to be to feed it to Braden. Finding Matt down low. Rhett, open lane. Wow, great there cut you go. by Time Rhett. Timeout from Coach Fowler. It's an eight point game, 317 on the clock. Don't go anywhere, we've got a good one. All right, we are back. 79-71 is our score. It's an eight-point game. Kerr, we're down 26 at the half, and just over three minutes left on the clock. And this big crowd for St. Henry's really gotten a treat tonight. First half wasn't looking too good, and now all of a sudden the Crusaders have made it a game. Starting five on the court. A key thing that just happened in this game, Sam Gibson fouls out. Yeah. And now Braden stands as the lone big man on in the, the court. game. Yeah. Yeah. And that's big. They're doubling Jacob Meyer. Out of the set. Uh oh, tip oh, pass. Tipped. Tip pass. There it is. On the floor. Matt scramble for it. Jack Grace has got it. And it's a Crusader steal. There's Matt Reesing. He's going to drive in, trying to get it to Brain. Uh-oh, on the ground. That's out, oh. that's out. Stays with yes. the crew. Absolute pandemonium here in the last wow. 18 seconds. Great hustle by the Crusaders. Just everyone diving on the floor for that ball. You can tell they won it. Two minutes, 59 seconds on the clock, and this is a huge possession for the crew. Got to protect the ball, and you have to get a bucket here. Great defense to tip that pass away, and then there was a mad scramble. Crew ended up with it. Oh, I'm out of breath. We got <laughs> multiple, multiple, multiple elementary school kids. Yeah, I know. At hand here, no Adam Luberts. They're all, he's gone, replaced by multiple handymen. And it's a slick floor. Fourth graders coming in clutch tonight. There's been several of them doing a great job of wiping the floor down. Mm -hmm. Your Sayers took that time to, for Coach Faust to maybe draw up something. Or Red's going to inbound. Him. Gives it to Carson. Ooh. Cruz moving it around, finds Braden down low. Rhett for three, too much. Ball's loose, Carson's got it. Ooh. No! Foul. That's a basketball play. Reach in foul is going to be called, likely going on Carson Shea. I think it could have been on either one. Yeah, that, oh, I'm not one to comment on the rest. Oh, I am. Glenn is one to comment on the rest, but oh, I'm not. But, uh, I would have let that one go. Let him play. Under three minutes. 
No one really had possession. That'll send mm. Jacob Meyer to the free throw line, and that's going to be a huge play. Jacob Carson, Myers only missed one. Carson Shea and Rhett Ravenscraft both playing with four fouls now. Rhett's been playing like that the whole quarter. Makes oh. the first. Jacob Myers been money from the free throw line tonight. <laughs> Sinks it. So here come the crew, down by 10. Really can't get under that eight point deficit. Rhett's gonna drive in. Through the contact, no call. Braden's got it. And one! Braden Fetters! He's got takeover! <laughs> How about that? Another and one for Braden Fetters and he'll go back to the free throw line. He'll take off his wrist tape. Oh my goodness. Both teams playing in the double bonus now. Fouls are really skyrocketing at this point. Big free throw from Braden. That's in. Seven point game. Three point play from Braden. Oh, oh. kicked ball. Good defense from Matt. Matt seems to be doubling whoever gets the ball. Try to trap him in the corner. There's Jacob Meyer. Trying to cut oh. Jacob off, they can't. Let him get sidelined that time. Four and three. No good. Rebound. Looking for Braden. Yeah, Ooh. Braden Fetters! Five point game! Amazing vision by Carson Shea. Jacob Meyer, trying to do too much. Rhett's got the rebound, this crowd's going wild. Under two minutes. To make it a one possession game right here. Carson Che for three. No. Foul. Foul's gonna be called, he's going to the free throw line. Huge free throws coming up. The crew are on their feet. Student section's getting loud, parents getting loud, we're getting loud. It's a five point game and Carson Che has a chance to sink three free throws. Here they come. There's one, there's one. If there was ever a time for Carson Shedd to make free, three free throws, it's Here it now. Is. Oh, oh, this is the second. It's all right, it's all right. Keep your composure, Carson. 81-77, mm -hmm. under two minutes. That is a lot of time, especially in a four point game. Here's the third from Carson. Sinks it. So good trip to the line. Carson puts in two, and it's a three-point game. 81-78. Gets it to Jacob Meyer. That's who Holy Cross wants with the ball right now. Sinks Ooh. it. Good floater from Meyer. It's a five-point game. Crusader swinging it around. A minute and a half. Matt Reese, three-point shot. No! Oh! Oh! It's it. Matt Reese, it's a two-point game. Oh! How about Reese from the corner? Defense. Oh, boys, it's a steal. It's a steal. Crusader seven. Everybody's on their feet. Matt's got it. Brett, finding Carson in the corner. They're looking down to Matt. No good. Oh. Right with the. Oh. No. Under a minute left. Tough shot. 30 seconds. Timeout, time Holy Cross. Call. It's a two point game, though. Brett tried to get that rebound, but just fumbled oh. it out of bounds. Wow. What an insane sequence. Did you see the arc on that Matt Reasing three point? Yeah. There was I thought that was going to hit the ceiling. It, it ain't pretty, but it works. No, that was pretty. Oh my gosh. That's like the rainbow that Noah saw when he got off the ark. Just the most beautiful thing in the world. Wow. Oh, biblical. <laughs> biblical is, <laughs> is a sign from be God. The word. <laughs> oh my gosh. How about this complete oh, shift I, of halves? I here. can't believe it. Wow. I might have to take off this sweatshirt. It's getting hot. 
And as Quent takes off his sweatshirt, we got a 56. It's game time. Minute left, down by two. I'm rolling up the sleeve, sweatshirt is off. Rhett's Things been, are getting real. Rhett's been playing with four fouls for about seven minutes now. Carson Shea also has four fouls. 83-81, mm. don't let Meyer get the ball. McElhaney with the ball. Holy Cross, they're gonna try their best to take off some time. Gets it to Meyer. 47 seconds. St. Henry Crowd on their feet. Here comes Meyer driving in. And they're gonna call a shooting foul. That'll send him to the free throw line. That one going on Braden. He's got three. And all we can do at this point is pray that Jacob Meyer misses one of these free throws. Every member of the student section is on their feet. Two point game, big free throws coming up from Meyer. And the Holy oh. Cross, the Holy Cross hero misses the first. Wow. And this crowd is getting loud. That just gave them energy. Here we go. Final free throw coming up, 43 on the clock. Two point game. Sinks it, and it's a three-point game. Gets it to Matt. Hard press. They're going to break it. Braden. Oh, fakes the three. Rhett, pull up jumper. Good. 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 It's a one-point game. 24 seconds on the clock. Huge. Huge jumper from Red. Don't let Meyer get it. He's got oh, it. He slips. Slips. It's a turnover. Matt driving in. And he's going oh. to the free throw line with a chance to tie it and put the Crusaders on top. Oh my wow. goodness. What an unbelievable play. Jacob Meyer gets the ball and trips on his own. Loses it. Fourth. The ball is dropped straight into Carson Shea's arms. Jacob Meyer visibly oh, mad. Oh, we got to stand up for this. I can't believe it. Come on, Matt. Magic fingers are up. Visibly mad about that floor conditions right there. Huge slip, and it gives Matt an opportunity. And that is going to be a play, regardless of the outcome, that we are looking back on. Wow, a missed free throw by Jacob Meyer, and then Matt gets a all slip. the way down the on a yeah. I mean, an immaculate play. What did I say? It's a sign from God. The rainbow. Here's Matt Reese. And the and Crusaders, the down by 26 at half, have come all the way back to tie it. 84-84. Matt Reese with the chance to put the Crusaders on top. And he, he does. does. He does. And this place explodes. 19 seconds. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, this place is gonna explode! Oh! Time out! What is going on? I don't believe it! I do not believe it! The Crusaders have come all the way back, taking the lead, and that reason bounces it off his opponent's foot, and it's Crusader ball with 18 seconds. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> As Quinn takes a breath here, the collapse by Holy Cross has been incredible. And the Crusaders' resilience, too. Wow. This is one of the most unbelievable basketball games I have been to in my life. And it's not even over. 18.3 seconds left. The crew have got to waste as much time on the clock. Get it to a free throw shooter while liable. You've got to imagine that they're going to be Matt fouling Reese over us right fouls. away. Mm. And you know who I want the ball? I want to give it to Matt Reese. He's been great from the free throw line all season. He's been great tonight. And now that he's made those two shots, we know that he will not crumble under pressure. 85-84. Andrew Reese has checked into the game. A deadly shooter. They may be trying to get him the ball as well. Carson Shea is out for now. They want all their free throw shooters in. Finds it to Matt. Swings it to Jack. Brayden's got it. Swing it, Brayden. 
Oh, hard that may foul. may be intentional. Whistles are being blown. That was a hard foul. Wow. Brain's gonna get two shots at the line. So a chance to put him up by three. And as they get the floor cleared up, Braden Fetters has hit some huge shots, huge and ones. Ref's gonna call a quick timeout, floor is slippery where Braden fell. So that'll give these players another breather. What about these? Fourth graders, great job tonight. Braden yeah. Fetters at the free throw line. He's been good in the fourth quarter, hasn't missed a free throw. And with the pressure on, the eyes on him, can he hit his free throws? Two shots from the big guy. Sinks the first, sinks the go. first. His brother's going nuts down there. I can see Reed Fetters and Michael Reesing are going nuts down there. Here's a free throw. The second from Braden. Sinks it. Go. Crusaders up by three, and Holy Cross is going to have to shoot a three now. Carson Shea will check in for defense. Brain Fetters is out. So it's Donovan and Bre Ambrosio in for Holy Cross. We have got to protect the perimeter here. The biggest defensive possession of the game. We saw Holy Cross hit numerous threes in the first half. And they're going to try and get it to Meyer. Myers on the Stolen oh, by Jack, Jack Grayson! Stolen by Jack! And that's wow. the biggest play of the game! Jack Grayson steals the inbound pass. Jacob Meyer is down, slow to get up. Jack Grayson, one of the best free throw shooters on the team, is going to the line. And free throws here could end it. Jacob Meyer, as we mentioned before, visibly upset. He is upset, upset about this floor's conditions. There's gonna be a lot of talk about it. Yeah. He had a chance to go and uh, win this game, and he slipped, but uh, amazing, amazing comeback. Big free throws crew. from Jack Grayson. Here we go, Jack, come on. Oh, off and the he back missed the iron. first. All right, take Just a deep breath, number one. 11. He's gotta hit this. If he hits this, it's a four point game, two possessions. That is a tough comeback. Come on, Jack. Six it, six, six it. it. Jack Grayson six it. Timeout called by Coach Faust. Up by four. Two possession game. Coach Faust is gonna put in the defense squad. And right now, the plan is hand straight up and do not foul. No. Give up no free shots, rebound, get it to a free throw shooter and let's end it. Mr. Nope. Schneider having to talk to the student section that they cannot storm the court. Wow. All I can say, I quench, Quent mentioned before, a miraculous comeback. I, I can't believe it. Down 26 at the half. During halftime, we were discussing what are we going to talk about in this yeah. blowout. We and were, here we are, yeah. up by four. One of the, I, we saw fans walking out. Yeah. I mean, everyone wow, counted amazing. them out. And now the crew have a chance, a very, very good chance to knock off a top 15 team in the state. And this is huge. Yeah. This would probably be the biggest, one of the game. biggest comebacks in St. Henry, at least recent history. Yeah. Last four or five years, one of the biggest comebacks. Crowds, crowds pumped up. Crusaders now on defense. And instead of trying to get a steal, they're just gonna try and play good D. Here it is. Myers got it, that's who Holy Cross wants. He's gonna drive all the way in, makes the layup, six seconds, time's running down. Foul was called, well, I don't know what happened. No, What's delay of game was called. Delay of game. On Holy Cross. 4.6, up by two. Get it to a good free throw shooter. Finds Rhett. 
Finally fouls him Ooh. at 2.1 or on the clock. So Rhett Ravenscraft injured for over a month. Now shooting some of the biggest free throws of his life. 88 to 86, two free throws here. Would, nail the, would put the nails in the coffin. It's a two point game currently. The crew keeping all, all four. All their players back on D with 2.1 seconds. Javier Ward sticking back. And Rhett's gonna first. make it a three point game. So even with the three pointer, St. Henry secures wow. at least overtime. And now Rhett looking to win this game for the crew. Here it is. Yes! Yes! Up by four with two seconds. Fans are on their feet. Jacob's gonna chuck up a last second shot. And the ball game is over. One of the most unbelievable team performances I've seen in my life. The Crusaders down by 26 at the half. Everyone counted them out. And here they are, winning the game. 90 to 86, go crew! The resilience of this team. Oh my goodness. Did not back down, did not give up, and they came all the way back. A team effort. Two guys with four fouls in the fourth quarter, multiple minutes. All around performances. Amazing free throw shooting. And Holy Cross is gonna walk out of here with their heads down, and St. Henry with their heads held high. One of the most unbelievable games I've ever been to in my entire life. Wow. It's time to celebrate. Here come the student section. I remember Coach Faust throughout this week saying, we, we have yet to beat a team that's ranked higher than us, except for the very... I'm gonna go run down there and try and get someone for an interview. I'll be right. right back. Nobody leave. And we did it there. We knocked off top ranked Holy Cross, 90 to 86, in a complete turnaround of a game. Quent will be back to try and get an interview for one team player. Looks like he can't do it, but he'll be coming back up. But wow, I just have to, I've been saying it for the past couple minutes right now, but I was doubtful, uh, as anyone would, down 26. But we just completely responded. Couldn't get down there in time. They hit the mm. locker room before I could get an interview. I, I, I'm speechless. I was I was just talking about how doubtful I was oh, at yeah. halftime oh, yeah. in the third quarter. Even down 10, I was like, there's no way Jacob Meyer yeah. would let. And that is a huge upset. Wow. Going into districts and region, this game is going to put St. Henry at the top of the list of teams to look out for. Mm -hmm. They're still a threat, and they made that known tonight. And how about all-around performances? Matt Reising, clutch threes and free throws. Brett Ravenscraft, clutch free throws and great defense while yeah. playing with four fouls. Jack Grayson, as always, consistent throughout the entire game, a clutch three at the end. Carson Shea, great defense, great free throws at the end. And, of course, Braden Fetters, probably 25-plus points. Yeah. And, again, free throws at points the end. on the night. Amazing. Just have to hand it to them. And uh, we'll be back for the Monday night game. Yeah. The play-in district game. That'll be Ludlow and Villa. So if you're a fan of uh, either team or just tune in for some District 34 yeah. action. And then we also will be back and ready for Dixie versus St. Henry on Wednesday night next week. So yeah. make sure you don't miss out on that. And, man, what a huge performance. Huge game for the crew. They win by a final score of 90 to 86. How about that to cap off the end of the regular season? Nathan, any last words? Miraculous. Miraculous. That's all we can say. Like a rainbow <laughs> from God. Biblical. Biblical. <laughs> That's the one word, biblical. <laughs> all right, I'm Quentin Bolton signing off. Have a great night, Crusader Nation.